John. Uh, a couple of un unrelated topics. First of all, Georgia's 6th Congressional District. The fact that uh, John Ossoff pulled in five or six points more than most Republicans thought that he would have, and Lindsey Graham saying, this is a wake-up call to the Republican Party that there's a lot of moderates beginning to emerge in the South to a greater degree that the Republican Party needs to pay attention to. I don't imagine that the outcome of the runoff is in that much question, but does Senator Graham have something there that the Republican Party needs to pay attention to changing demographics, particularly in the South? Well, I think you know that based on my former position, uh, we, we talked about changing demographics in, uh, in, throughout the country and, uh, and made significant headway in doing that. And I think in large part, uh, that's why we won. I mean, we had been talking about how the Republican Party had won at so many different levels of our country, uh, but the presidency had eluded us. This president went and got 306 electoral votes won 30 of 50 states, over 2,600 counties. I think uh, we did pretty well in November, um, and uh, we've continued to pick up our, uh, seats around the country at different levels, so I feel very confident about the state of the party. The, the fact that Assad came so close to 50 percent. Yeah, I, I would, uh, well, I, again, I, I would, just looking at the facts, the, there was one candidate on the Democratic side. They spent over $8 million on, uh, one that they backed. I mean, let's, um, and I think when you look at the total Republican vote, it was, it was over that. This is a district that was very close uh, on the presidential level uh, last cycle, and the Democrats went all in on this. They, they were clear going into this election. They said that they, their goal was to get over 50 percent. They came up short. I mean, so at the end, if you look at the, what his percentage of what it was presidentially, it, it pretty much tracks. He, um, I think this was a big loss for them. Uh, the bottom line is they went all in on it. They said that they, their goal was to get over 50 percent. They came up short. Uh, unrelated issue. Uh, Tillerson's letter to Paul Ryan uh, on the JCPOA in Iran. Is the, is the United States basically saying there's no evidence that Iran is cheating on the JCPOA? No, I think what the letter says is that the president is directing an interagency review of the deal um, as uh, to, to, to review that, and we have 90 days before the next one comes up. Uh, we'll have more, but right now we're undergoing a 90-day review, and I think the, pre the statement that the Secretary of State made to Congress very clearly stated that, um, that the President is directing the National Security Council to uh, lead an interagency review of the plan and evaluate whether s suspension sanctions related to Iran pursuant to the JCPOA uh, are in the vital interests of, the national security, of our national security. That's, the letter clearly lays out what the, the president's going to do um, to make sure that they're living up to their agreement. Is the president concerned that Iran may be cheating on the JCPOA? Well, again, the way, David Albright, the noted UN weapons inspector, says they're developing a new centrifuge, which he thinks could be a violation. Of well, the and I think that's why he's asking for this review. I, I think that there's, if, if he didn't, if he thought they were, they were, everything was fine, he would have you know, allow this to move forward. I think he's doing the prudent thing by asking um, for a review of, of, of the current deal and what's happening.